So last year pa tong mga Funko Pops na to. So for right now, we're gonna be unboxing four of the common Funko Pops from the Thor Love and Thunder Funko Pop line. Para let's. Okay, so hindi na tayo magta-transform to Thor uh, for this episode. Um, kasi medyo marami tayong i-discuss. So aside from the four Funko Pops na i-unbox natin, medyo marami din siyang mga characters or items sa line na Thor Love and Thunder. So, simulan na natin. So, ito, yung una. So this is Pop Marvel number 1040. Of course, from Thor Love and Thunder. Si Thor. Then yan, yung anim. So, apat lang dyan yung meron tayo. And of course, yung Funko Pop Ride na in-unbox natin with it. So, next up is this. Pop Marvel number 1041. From the same movie, Thor Love and Thunder. Si Mighty Thor. Si Jane Fonda. <laughs> Foster. The next is Pop Marvel number 1042 from Thor Love and Thunder. See si Valkyrie. And then last, meron tayo sa mga commons. Pop Marvel number 1043 from Thor Love and Thunder. Yung main villain, si Gore. So, yun nga, uh, apat yung meron tayo ito. Itong dalawa wala tayo, si Korg at saka si Meek. So, we'll go ahead and unbox these four Funko Pops in line of Thor Love and Thunder. But before that, we'll go ahead and check out the other Funko Pops sa line na to. <laughs> Alright, so ito nga sila yung nasa likod ng box. So, si Thor, si Mighty Thor, si Valkyrie, si Gore, si Korg, and si Mickey. So, wala tayo nung dalawa the last two, the other two. Uh, but for this line, we also have these. So, BAM exclusive na metallic na unmasked Mighty Thor. And then, pop in a box na glow in the dark na Mighty Thor. And this time, different mold. Yung meron siyang base. And then, yung electricity or yung thunder na so yun lang yung nag-glow, yung crack sa hammer and then yung stand and then yung electricity. Also, we have a two-pack. Ito naman, two-pack ng common molds. And this is a Target exclusive. And then, we also have a four-pack ng apat na meron tayo. No difference yan sa mga common, so a four-pack lang siya. And this is exclusive through Walmart. And then, of course, yung Funko Pop Ride na Thor with Tooth Nasher and Tooth Grinder. Na nasa goat book. We also have a couple of more Funko Pops. So, ito si Zeus. Hindi siya kasama sa line sa likod. At hindi rin siya exclusive kung saan man. Regular lang siya or common lang siya. There's also two more exclusives. Yan, yung Ravager Thor. Which is yung sa simula ng movie. Yung kasama niya pa yung mga Guardians of the Galaxy. And then, itong specialty series na Gore. This time, ang hawak niya is yung Stormbreaker. And the last exclusives naman, yung galing sa Marvel Collector Core, which includes two Funko Pops, a Pop Tee, a pin, and a decal sticker. So nakalagay dyan, hang on for a wild ride through the cosmos with Marvel Studios' Thor Love and Thunder Marvel Collector Core box. Inside this supercharged box, you'll find a decal of Valkyrie's emblem. Yun nga yung decal sticker. An NML pin of Korg. Vinyl bubble heads of Pop Thor and Pop Mighty Thor. Ngayon dalawang exclusive nila. And a t-shirt of Pop Thor and Mighty Thor in action. Which, yun nga yung suot natin today sa episode 9. Na nakuha natin from Kiko Toys. Alright, so there you go. So we'll go ahead and check out and unbox the 4 out of 6. Bamang Tampa Pops sa Thor Love and Thunder line. Okay, so yun nga. Ito yung shirt. Yung Thor Love and Thunder. 
galing to sa Kiko Toys. Uh, binili natin siya as a pop lang, hindi yung galing sa MCC. And speaking of MCC or Marvel Collector Core, we actually just ordered the MCC for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, which is due to arrive uh, August, around August, so uh, we'll check that out. Now. Of course, we'll unbox the contents. Although wala pa namang reveal na ina-announce for whatever the contents are, so we're hoping na meron siyang pop tea and then one or two Funko Pops. Pero in the past naman, naglalabas sila ng MCC, there's always um, two Funko Pops and then a pop tea. And then yung mga ano, pins, decals or what not, or keychain. So, uh, pero hopefully merong pop tea. And then, mas maganda rin kung dalawa rin yung Funko Pops. So, alright, so with that out of the way, uh, we'll check out the Funko Pops. So, unang una si Thor. And ang daming details nito. So, unang una yung Stormbreaker niya. Although, wag natin siya masyadong laruin kasi baka mag-break din. Ayan, malambot siya sobra. Ayan. And then, naka angat siya sa lupa. And then, yung stand niya, yung nakapirmis. Yung cape niya, nakasway sa hangin. And then, yung, yung stance niya, or yung position niya. Ayan. So, stick, hindi lang simpleng basta nakaangat lang siya sa loop or what not. So, nakaangat pa yung isang tubo. And of course, bubble then. And then, yung, yung buhok niya nakasway din along with the cape. Tapos, ang kaibahan lang nito dun sa MCC is uh, naka-helmet yun. Ito hindi. Naka-unhelmet. <laughs> hindi unmasked, eh. unhelmet. Okay. So, next is si Mighty Thor or si Lady Thor. Yeah. Of course, babae siya naka-stand. Yeah. Hawak niya yung Mjolnir na crack. Naka-helmet siya. So, ito, parang hindi ako masaya sa, sa stand niya kasi, again, sa paulit-ulit kong binabanggit, isa lang yung peg. And then, isa-isang paa lang. So, madaling matanggal. Although, pag hindi naman din siya ginagalaw-galaw or what not, Okay lang din naman. So, wakang ko na lang mabuti. So, nakasway din yung cape. Tapos, yung buhok niyang mahaba. Naka, ano, hindi lang yung basa naka-helmet. Naka-oscillated yung mga buhok. And then, as you can see, nakatagilid siya. Na parang tutumba siya. Sa mga pictures niya, yan na pinakita ko kanina, uh, hindi naman siya nakatagilid or what not. Parang nakaside lang yung isang paa niya. However, kapag nakastand siya yan, nakatagilid. So, parang, yun nga, parang tutumba siya kasi di ba nga may cancer na lang. So, nagtitake na lang to yung cancer niya. Patumba lang. Alright. So, next is si Valkyrie. Makikita natin mamaya kapag pinaikot natin yung paano siya nakatagilid. So this is Valkyrie, and ganon din siya yung stand niya, isang peg lang. Pero this time, ah, maganda yung stance niya. And then, ang maganda rito is yung braids ng buhok niya. Yan. Talagang binigyan ng uh, detail. Hindi lang yung basta diretsong ganon lang. Just like in the past, na yung pag ganyan yung buhok, eh, ano lang, isang, isang diretsong ganon lang isang streak pero yan naka naka braids then meron ding mga highlights na blue hawak na yung sword niya then naka fist naka close yung fist niya medyo maliit yung kamay niya rito pero plastic din naman and then yan uh, just like the others naka sway yung cape niya fighting stand siya. Nahawakan ko kasi na tatanggal-tanggal yung, ano, yung paa niya dun sa peg. Alright, so that's both way. And then last but not the least sa mga commons na meron tayo is si Gore. Ito naman astig yung base niya. Parang anime. Then yung cloth na suot niya yan. Na parang cape. Hindi naman kasi cape niya. Parang parang cape. Nag Nakasway din sa hangin. And then, yung, yung sword niya. Yung necro sword niya. Malambot din. 
Hindi siya dumi diretso. And then yung base na yan. Kung na may butas. So I think uh, kaya binigyan siya ng ganitong details because para din mabenta syempre, para may bumili sa kanya. Although siya yung main antagonist dun sa movie, pero syempre, kapag hindi bibigyan ng extra details, baka hindi magustuhan ng mga uh, mami yeah. So this is war. Although yung isang variant niya na hawak yung Stormbreaker, wala namang ganitong base. Ano lang, naka, nakatayo siya sa lubay din hawak niya yung Stormbreak. Alright, there you go. So, we'll go ahead and do a paikot of the four common Funko Pops sa line na to. The Thor Love and Thunder line. We'll also do a comment shout-out from the previous episode, the game mechanics, and the thank you portion for the episode. Let's go! Janiklo, shout out sa'yo. Maraming salamat sa support ka. So here we go sa so Game Mechanics. Again, we have two prizes for this giveaway celebration. So we have the odd and the even prize. So the odd prize, of course, like we mentioned before, would be for the odd number of days, which would be 1, 3, 5, 7, and so on and would have color-coded orange and for the even price it would be for the even number of days two four six eight and so on and it would be color-coded green so make sure you include the secret word that you saw from the previous episode to your comment down below we also have the link in the description so if you would like to make hula go ahead and click that link and so again it would be only hula and for the two prices, we will choose the most complete and exact description or name ng prize na sa loob ng box. And after the 16 days, we'll make the decision for the two prizes and we will announce it possibly after the 16 days or at the end of this month. So once again, make sure to include the secret word na nakita nyo from the previous episode on your comment today to make sure that your entry is valid. So thanks for joining, good luck and congratulations, and we'll proceed with the video. Maraming maraming salamat sa mga sumusuporta sa akin at sa channel, sa mga lagi nanonood ng mga videos, sa mga nagko-comment, sa mga di nagsaskip, sa mga ads, sa mga nagla-like, sa mga nagla-dislike, and most especially dito sa corner crew members na walang sawang sumusuporta sa akin at sa channel. So thank you very much for all of your support. Konting dagdag lang dun sa MCC ng Gardens of the Galaxy kasi wala pang nire-reveal or wala pang sinasabing mga leaks o mga kung ano yung mga Funko Pops na nandun. Just in case kung dalawang Funko Pops yung i-re-release nila o yung laman ng box. So I'm thinking it's possibly Gamora kasi wala siyang common or wala siyang exclusive dun sa mga re-reveals, mga in-announce. Uh, high evolutionary, it's possible as well. Kung ano mang stance niya or what not. It's possible din na yung Iron Man stance ni Nebula yung include doon. And one other thing is possibly si Rocket Raccoon kasi kanya naman yung point doon. So yun yung mga possibilities. Um, I'm also thinking kung yung t-shirt or yung pop tee, sana yung katulad ng t-shirt ni Quill or ni Peter Quill or ni Star-Lord na yung maroon 
kung ano man, basta sana merong pop Alright, so meron na naman kayo nakitang word or secret word or clue uh, na nag-pop up kanina. So hopefully nakita nyo na. Or kung hindi man, ulitin nyo yung video na ito. Uh, yun yung word na include nyo on the next episode. Pero for this episode, make sure to include the secret word that you saw from the previous episode. Na include nyo for today's comment down below to make sure that your entry is back. Medyo mahaba na yung video. That'll be all for me today. Thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Do whatever makes you happy as long as you don't step on other people's happiness. Thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Ito, siyempre meron. Mule na yun. Ha! Okay, so hindi na tayo mag-tat-tat-tat-tat-tat-tat-tat-tat-tat-tat-tat-tat-tat-tat-tat-tat-tat-tat-tat-tat-tat-tat-tat-tat-tat-tat-tat-tat-tat-tat-tat-tat-t